So, the last episode of Dragon Ball Super ended with a big what the fuck. Uh, because Goku just randomly out of nowhere starts to feel sick. We see from his perspective that his vision is blurry, that he's not feeling well, and he got knocked out of the tournament, much to the shock of both the audience, and Beerus, and Vegeta, and pretty much everybody. And from this single incident, a thousand, figuratively speaking, videos about... You know, what happened to Goku? Thousands of theories, you know, did Champa poison him with the egg? Did Hit do something just by looking at him? Was it... was it Broly? Because of... because of course we have to figure out a way how to shoehorn Broly in into places where it makes no fucking sense. But here is the best and optimal answer that I could possibly give you guys. Wait until next week. We're going to figure out what happens. If you watched the Dragon Team sub-translation for the next episode, you will clearly see that Goku says he doesn't know what that technique that Frost did to him, what, what was that. And from the way Piccolo is fighting, and the, way, and the way he's just steering clear of Frost, it's painfully obvious that Piccolo has figured it out, and that it will be explained to us, the audience, in the next episode. So for all you guys creating these stupid bullshit clickbait videos, fuck off. Like, I understand, you know, the need to, to create views, but if you need to create these, uh, like, three-day shelf-life videos that are just going to be debunked, like, in the span of just a mere days, then I don't even know what the fuck's the point of even making them. And for all of you guys who are saying that Goku purposefully threw the fight, I would gladly, with the honest-to-God smile on my face as I record this, like to tell you all to go fuck yourselves in the throat with a loaded shotgun. Because you motherfuckers, you know who you are, you guys from the hardcore DBZ fandom, you motherfuckers who take every single opportunity to take pot shots at Superman, then then try to pass off Superman-isms to Goku, do not, clearly do not know the fucking character of Goku. He would not throw the fight for, for just some random kids just because he feels bad for Frost. He would not do that. Hell, I don't even think Goku would throw the fight for his own kid's sake. Like, uh, that might just be a controversial thing to say, but Goku's kind of a selfish prick, guys. So, yeah, for all you guys who are saying, oh yeah, Goku totally threw the fight. Like, he's a nice guy. He'd do that, right? No, he fucking wouldn't. J just stop watching the Funimation dub that is trying to make Goku into Superman, you know, the character you all love to take pot shots at and actually look at either Kai or, or, or the manga or fucking anything and get an actual clue of what Goku is like. That whole theory that he threw the fight is easily one of the most infuriatingly retarded things I've seen since since that picture Geekdom posted where Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, is not canon disease. Like, how the fuck does that even work? So yeah, the the best answer for all for what happened to Goku is wait until next week. It's going to get explained. Have some fucking patience, and please, for the love of God, like if you're at least gonna debate on what happened, at least make some stupid theory that makes even a little bit of sense. Not this Goku would totally throw the fight because for a nice guy's sake, bullshit.